this is a common pitfall, uh, especially newbies. More seasoned folks, I know you know about this, but this is scrutinize, get in that microscope. Sometimes we need to like look at our data through a microscope, microscopic lens. Here's what happens. If we are not paying attention to the time, what I mean is the clock that's next to a date, this can really have ripple effects and cause all sorts of problems in your progress scene. I have been bitten by this on more than one occasion. I'll let you know. So what happens is that by default, P6 doesn't show this time. And it's common for this time to not be set properly at the start of the day and the end of the day. So let's go um, look at a project. I've got another project for you. Okay, so this is a pretty simple, straightforward project. What we're seeing here looks pretty standard. If I scrutinize my start and finish dates, let's just sort this here. You know, I got activity starting on the 6th, the 9th, the 20th. All this looks fine to me, right? Until I come into edit user preferences and I turn on, I like the 12 hour clock. You can go do the 24 hour if you want. Until I start to scrutinize this a little deeper, uh, down below here, look what's going on here. I have an activity that started at 8 a.m. on the 23rd and finished at 2.36 p.m. on the 29th. That's gonna cause me problems. What kinds of problems is this gonna cause me? This is going to affect my total float. This is going to create fractional total float values. So I might have a float of 1.76 days. It's also going to cause problems with units. Um, you know, 1.6 hours, things like that. Start to you start to get fractional things all over the place. You can even have fractional uh, actual durations and things like that. So you can, and it will ripple through a project because of the start, fin, finish to start relationships, all this stuff will ripple through. And you can see it's happening here with this one finished here and the next one started at that time. And now it's forced the next one to finish at the same time and that will ripple through. And even here we have 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. We don't want that. We want what we saw up here, which was activities to start at eight and finish at five or whatever time, you know, if you have a 10 hour day, it's eight to six. If you have a 12 hour day, it's eight to eight. It's, it's, this is important. You don't want fractional stuff to ripple through your projects. So if you don't turn on the clock, all this stuff causes problems. And here's where you'll see it as well is in your data date, 1159 PM, you will see it wherever there's a date. So even your constraints, uh, constraint dates can be, can get affected by this. How do we fix it? Well, it's a manual effort. You have to go back and find the earliest activity that started screwing things up and fix that. And hopefully that ripples through. Um, but you do have to use your eyes and ears on this one. I'm going to let you know about a new, uh, a little fix that P6 did in the latest version, in version 21. So, have a look, they, they are aware of this as a problem and they were making, they made a little change to try to fix it. Here's what they did. Now I'm not on version 21, so you're not gonna see it, but I'll explain it to you anyways. If you do not have the time shown and you opt to set a start date on this activity, uh, I don't know why that's over there. This is grayed out. It, uh, it lets, I don't think I can edit it. See, I can't, I can't make changes to it at all. It's grayed out. But in the new version, version 21, it's no longer grayed out and it actually displays the time accordingly here. It's a small little fix, but it's, it's gonna help raise some visibility on these issues. So anywhere that you see, even in the, uh, the data date box, when you set your data date, 
that time will show up here now, even though you don't have the user preferences set. So that's a new thing that's come up. So here's my checklist for you. You can screenshot this if you want. Um, what I recommend is to get accurate dates and times in P6, turn on the 12 hour clock and user preferences. Also increase the decimals to two places on the durations and units. What that means is show, show decimal durations in decimal units. That can help you find these problems as well. Check your start date, your data date, any constraint dates, check your calendar, make sure that things are starting and finishing at the right time of day. Check your time period settings in your calendar and your actual start and finish dates. You wanna check all those things to make sure you have accurate dates and times.